Okay, so this is going to be a quick demo of the controller I built that operates both my uh, Max Fan and Houghton Air Conditioner. Uh, I've got a post on the Ford Transit forum with pictures of the controller and more details of how, about how it works. Uh, so first of all, here you can see uh, right now I've got the fan set on uh, exhaust open on. I can click it off. I'll turn it back on. I can turn the exhaust to intake. And then lastly, if you want to operate in what Max Fan calls ceiling fan mode, you can have the fan on but the hood closed. And that is, I guess, what they call ceiling fan mode. Never really use it. Uh, to change the speed, you can dial it up to 70. And sorry, I was talking. I don't know if you could hear a couple of beeps. Um, and so one of the downsides of controlling it this way is you can potentially get out of sync with what the fan is actually doing and, and what your controller thinks it's doing. So for example, if I come up here manually and turn the speed down, uh, the user interface continues to think that it's at 90%, but it's no longer there. So I developed a tool I call Resynchronize, where you press this button. What it does is it, I've got some predetermined settings, 40% uh, speed uh, and exhaust and open, and it goes back to that mode. Uh, so the user interface and the fan are now uh, back in sync and that command is sent via infrared re rather than the, the relay clicking that's done that's explained in more detail on the forum. So uh, just to continue on here, I've got these climate settings. I've got a temperature and humidity sensor that I've mounted on the wall. I'll talk more about that in a second. I've got electric uh, power consumption you can see here. This thing uh, I think the fan runs at about 38 watts at full speed. I put uh, some board voltage monitoring so I could send myself trouble alerts in case uh, I'm having an over voltage situation on the uh, on the controller board. And you got your typical diagnostic stuff here with a reset uh, button if you find that that's necessary. So let's go ahead and jump over to the air conditioner. Let me reposition the camera. So this is my Houghton air conditioner, um, and for the reason that I go into detail on the Ford Transit forum, my controller basically uh, overrides the, the Houghton controller and determines when to turn the heating or cooling on and off. And so I've used a Nest-like interface where you can click in the center of the dial and you can set the high and low temps. You got some fan speed controls here. Uh, just set it to one, um, and you basically just click the center uh, icon. And if I want to click it into AC mode, there you go. You see it's kicked into AC mode. And initially, this let just heard the compressor come on, let the fan sort of stabilize. I don't know if you'll be able to hear this because the Houghton is pretty quiet, but um, I will turn the speed from one to three. Like I said, I don't know if you can hear that, uh, but it did indeed kick up the fan speed from one to three and I will now kick it well if I kick it on auto it shouldn't really change anything other than the user interface so it's still on obviously it has it changes the color to orange and you see the, the auto icon if I change it to heat It knows that it doesn't need heat and it now has shut the unit off and I will change it back to off. 
All right, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, as I mentioned, there's uh, more information on the Ford Transit Forum and hope you found this informative. Thanks.